Hey everyone, Silicat2 here with yet another exciting episode of Golden Sun The Lost Stage. Uh, I apologize for the difference in uh, audio quality since my last recording. I seem to have left my headphones at home so I can't do the thing I've been doing since I started this Let's Play. So yeah. Also... Wow, is my video really that gonna be that big, uh, whatever. Whatever. Let's go. We are in the Kandorian Temple. After, immediately after getting the Lash Synergy. So, I am going to meet you guys up top. I believe up top is down this way. Because our next destination is the Shrine of the Sea God. Because we have things to do there. So yeah, see you later. Uh, actually, no, we have a new enemy here. This is the, uh, a maze from Golden Sun, and I was actually not expecting to encounter this thing on the way back up, so, uh, <laughs> Let me pause for a second and pull up its bio. This is kind of embarrassing. Okay, I'm back. This is the Amaze. It has 39 HP. It is weak to Jupiter and strong to Mercury. It knows the skill Rumble, which is a multi-targeting Venus Elemental attack. And it has a 1 in 16 chance of dropping the oil drop. As you can see, it, we did not get the oil drop there. Okay, cutting! Actually, you know what? No, let's talk to these guys again. When I awoke, I learned that someone else had passed my test. How disgraceful. Before I passed out, I saw something. Some sort of cute little monster. Was I delirious? Dude, you got knocked out by fog? Are you serious? <laughs> I heard that someone passed the test. No matter, though. I'm here to improve myself. To meditate. Not to show off. I knew it! It should have been me taking that test! <laughs> These guys are all hypocrites. <laughs> Go figure. Hey, these guys are up too. Someday, I'm gonna be a great monk like Master Poi. Uh, lol. <laughs> okay, now we've taken care of that, we can get going towards the Shrine of the Sea God. I will see you guys there. Here we are, back in. Go away, punch ant. Don't let me talk to you. Here we are back in a uh, Dyla. Puddles are still here, so never mind. But what we actually want to do is go this way to the Shrine of the Sea God. Do you remember those kids that were hanging out here before with the rope and stuff? Well, now that we have the Synergy Lash, we can actually do something about rescuing that kid. Have Sheba use Lash on this rope here, and it stretches it across to the other side. Excellent work, Felix! Hey, the rope! Awesome, Riki! Way to go! Cannot do kid voices. Who are you? We're just passing through. How come you threw me the rope? We'd heard that you need some assistance. Well, whatever. Thanks, anyway. Hey, Tabby! How'd you get down from there? These guys threw me in a rope. Really? These grown-ups? Well, whatever. Now we can go nab that critter we saw! What? What is it? That little guy's so fast, I can't catch him. You think we can catch him together? Well, yeah, except that every time I'm about to grab him, he flies off. So I guess it wouldn't matter if we work together or not. Yeah, I guess not. Well, that's too bad. 
Hey, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since before I got stuck. Yeah, same here. My stomach's growling up a storm. Let's go home, Riki. Sounds good, Tabby. They're gone. Well, it was good of you to help them. We should be going, too. Not just yet, you crazy old man. I want to go find the... Da -da 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 -da. That guy. This is Breath, and this will be the first instance of having to solve some sort of weird puzzle to catch a Jenny. And as you can see, he flies away when we chase after him. So let's keep chasing after him until he flies himself into a corner and stuff. As you can see, his footprints go this way. Angleworms! These are a new enemy! Actually, wait, didn't I do their bios already? Um. Yeah, I think I did their bios already, so never mind. <laughs> I'll put it up again as a refresher, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, the guy's the little guy's footprints go up this way. Okay, what you want to do to catch this guy is if you try to pass under this bridge here, he'll you'll see him flying across the bridge. But if you try to cross the bridge, you'll see him flying underneath the bridge. Then you can go back, go under the bridge, and catch him. It's kind of a weird puzzle. It's not really... I don't know what I'm saying. It's like, it's kind of arbitrary how you solve this thing. But, uh... Anyway, once you get him up here, you can corner him by pushing this, uh, torch up... Uh, excuse me. Pushing this torch up there, so when he tries to jump over to pit, he can't because he's apparently scared of fire. And that is your chance to go attack him. Breath has 184 HP and 16 PP. He knows the synergies Bolt, Slash, and Whirlwind. Bolt is a synergy we haven't encountered yet. It is Jupiter Elemental, of course, and it is single targeting. It's kind of weak, and well, thank goodness he didn't run there, because that would have been kind of annoying. Here we see him testing Whirlwind. Yeah, there's not really much to do, just to uh, keep attacking him until he goes down, have Felix uh, attack with his Mars, right? not Mars, Venus Synergy, if it, you think it will make a difference. But it only took us a few turns of combat anyway, so what's the point, you know? Jeep, I found the Jupiter Ginny Breath! Whoops. Uh, pfft. That is me failing to get used to Game Boy Advance controls. <laughs> Over there, I, you saw those puddles of water if you were paying attention. Uh, we can't do anything about that yet because nobody in our party can learn the Synergy Frost. This isn't like Golden Sun 1. There isn't an item for that. Here we have a ghost. This is a... Returning enemy from Golden Sun 1. It has 56 HP, 66 PP. It is weak to Ju Jupiter and strong against Mercury. Its attacks include Rumble, which is a multi-targeting Venus Elemental attack, as I said before with the maze, and Impair, a multi-targeting Mars synergy that uh, reduces your defense, although I might be wrong. It could be single targeting. I don't know, because Jenna doesn't know it. It has one herb with it, which it could use in battle. Okay, I guess it is single targeting. <laughs> um, and it has a 1 in 16 chance of dropping an oil drop. We'll be fighting these in the next area, that's why I know all its stats right now. But anyway, yeah, there's... Not much more to say, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, now we're out of... Ah! The rope fell. The rope! The rope fell down to the ground! 
or something. I don't even know if that was supposed to be in a Schwarzenegger voice or not. <laughs> Stupid sounding, that's what it is. Anyway, now we've saved the kids over in Dyla, the puddles will actually be gone. Those two losers are back home now eating their snacks. The dread pirate Briggs was captured in Madra. If that guy were free, you bet he'd be coming after our village. Why? Because you don't have a boat? <laughs> anyway, you can see the kids here. Let me tell you, kids are a lot of work. They're not out getting in trouble, they're inside and they're eating. <laughs> yep, sounds like kids to me. Who stays outside until he's absolutely famished? And would it have hurt to let us know where he was going? I was so mad that we were late. He said, no dinner for you, and I was like, whatever. So why are you eating? <sighs> Kids these days. My little one is finally home. I don't know where he got to for all that time. Don't tell anyone we were in the Shrine of the Sea God. Happy wolf down the snack and just asked for more. Let's think we're here to feed him, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Crazy kids. So, I hear they caught the pir pirate brakes down in Madra. Sea should be safe now, makes me wish I still had a boat. I bet you thought it was the wave that knocked me over and hurt my hip, huh? Yeah. It'd take more than a little water to knock this old timer down. No, it was the earthquake afterward that made him fall in the tush. Nobody believes a wave could be big enough to move a continent. I'm starting to think it's a sign of things to come, personally. You definitely got that right. Oh, hey, kids are still playing in the puddles. The puddles are all gone, and now I'm bored. There's a puddle right there! What are you talking about? Stupid? I got hurt when I was playing in the puddles, so now I'm not. I put my foot on something that was in one of those dried up puddles. Sounds like it might have been a tree root or something. There's a tree sitting in the middle of a puddle right there. But hey, it's Alex! Felix! Oh well, our happy little family is back together again. Alex, where'd you go? To look for a ship, of course. That's what Creighton said. And did you find one? Unfortunately, there are none to be had. I spoke to the mayor, and he suggested that we try a large town south of us. Is that where you're going? <clears throat> yes, Mandra may have boats available. That would be the most logical move. So, what do you think? Should we go to Mandra with Alex? No! Ah, Felix doesn't think it's a good idea. You seem awfully pleased about that. No, that's not it. I'm just preoccupied. Self-absorbed is more like it. I simply prefer to work alone. You and me both, Alex. <laughs> if that's the case, we'll let you be. Perhaps you will see me in Madra. THE NERVE OF THAT GUY! Yeah, I know. Now I just want to find a boat before he does. Let's be on our way. <sighs> Alex, Alex, Alex. Don't tell me you're all looking for a boat too! Uh, no. If I had one, I'd let you use it, but I don't. Well, we've done all we can do here. Uh, let's uh, now we know where Alex is going. Why don't we go follow him? I'm gonna upgrade my weapons and armor now. We have some money. But uh, other than that, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye bye for now.